Good morning, friends. What a joy it is to be able to come back into your presence today. This is Danny Ray, pastor of the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia, sharing with you today rays of hope. Today, I want to bring to you a devotion titled To Understand Others. My friend, uh, one of the biggest problems we see in society today is a lack of understanding of others. We live in such a diverse world, and some people may have ways that we don't like, and we have to cope with and deal with all of those circumstances. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 26 through 31, Jesus says, Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them that despitefully use you. And to him that smiteth thee on one cheek, offer also the other. And to him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. As ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. My friends, to understand others and have others really understand you or understanding them, you must walk in their shoes. Listen, walking in someone else's shoes is no easy task because the shoes of someone else rarely ever fit your feet. To walk in someone else's shoes, beloved, you must forget about yourself. You must forget about how you see the world. You must make extreme efforts to see the world the way others see it, even when you disagree with the way that they see it. Now, to understand others, you must see things as others see things, not the way that you want others to see things. You see, my friend, we all have our own ideas of how the world should fit together. We have our own ideas about how the world should fit together because of, of our background and our experiences. In some instances, my friend, we see things very differently than do others just because we think, see things differently, though, does not mean that they're wrong and we're right. To understand others, you must truly and fully care about others. And I want to say that again because that's important. To understand others, you must truly and fully care about others. The same spark of life keeping you alive is the same spark of keeping others alive. As human beings, we have more in common with each other than we have differences, but the differences are often so glaring that the differences get all of the attention. Now, to understand others, tell others, my friend, that you care about them. Listen, everybody wants to be cared about. Telling others you care about them is not easily uh, done because... Uh, sometimes we just disagree with lifestyles and we disagree with them. My friend, when you disagree uh, with the way someone lives their life, with the way they carry their attitude, or with the way they act in any particular way, you don't need to tell them you disagree with them. My friend, when you disagree with someone, you need to show or tell uh, him or her uh, about your disagreement. So many times, uh, lack of communication causes misunderstanding. To understand others, when speaking and listening to another person, reflect back to them what you hear them saying, not what you want to say to them. Make a difference in someone else's life, my friend, by understanding them. The reason that our Lord had such a successful ministry is that he loved and met people where they were in life. Now, I've never run into anybody that met him that stayed where they were in life. You see, Jesus makes a difference in our life. And, and if there's any turning or any differences that's going to be made, it'll be because God makes the difference. I remember visiting with a man one time, 
And in the visitation, and the man was terminally ill and sick, in the visitation, the man asked me to leave real quickly. And I walked up onto his porch with a Bible in my hand. I did not know how offensive that was to that man until later. I left and prayed, Lord, give me the opportunity to see this man again before he leaves this world. Uh, as it would be, he called for me to come and to visit with him later. And as I was driving, uh, I began to pray and I asked God, Lord, what can I say to him to help him? How can I help him, Lord? And I felt the Holy Spirit of God tug at my heart and say to me, go, but don't take your Bible. And I thought, Lord, surely that's not you. You'd never tell me not to take my Bible. But my friend, that voice spoke to my heart again and said, go, but don't take your Bible. I walked up onto that man's porch without my Bible in my hand. And uh, he looked at me and he said, you the preacher? And I said, yes, sir, I am. He said, well, where is your Bible? I said, I don't have a Bible today. He said, you the first preacher that's ever visited here without a Bible. He said, every preacher that's ever been on my porch come up here with a Bible in his hand and told me how sorry I was and, and uh, how sorry I am and that, that if I don't get right, I'm going to make uh, hell my home. And I looked at him and I said, sir, I didn't come to, to condemn you or to hit you over the head with a Bible. I said, I'm here because I care. When I said that to him, a tear began to run down one side of his face, and he invited me in. And I sat with him, and he and I had a good time of fellowship together. And by the end of our visit, he looked at me and he said, Preacher, I'm dying, and I don't want to go to hell. What can I do? And he said, Show me what to do. And I said, Well, I would, but I don't have a Bible. He reached over and slid a Bible to me that he had lying on his table, and he said, use mine and show me what I need to do. I opened the Bible, and I shared with him the Roman road, uh, way of salvation. And my friend, he accepted Christ that day and made the Lord his master. Oh, my friend, meeting people where they are and uh, pointing them to the one who can make a difference in their life is so important. God bless you as you try to do that today, as you try to go out into the world and make a difference in the world. Pray you have a great day in the Lord today. Father, today I pray that you'll help us to understand others, to meet them where they are in life and show them the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who can make a difference in their life. And Lord, we show them love by not judging them or by not criticizing them for where they are in life but loving them to Jesus right where they are so that Jesus can make a change in their life. Move, I pray, O oh God, to do this. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. Be careful as you go out into the world. Hey, remember to smile. Let others see Jesus in you. Experience his love for your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read.